Would you like to know whether you are in the wrong career and should change careers? Watch this video to the end because I'm gonna share with you how to know whether you are in the wrong career and also how to know whether it is actually time for you to do something different. Hi, welcome to this channel. My name is Jerry Randolph and on this channel, I share with women how they can get their dream job and build a career they love. If you wanna watch videos like this, come and join us and subscribe. I post new videos every single week. So over the next month, I have decided to do a Love Your Job series. It's the month of February and a lot of people talk about Valentine's, what are you doing for Valentine's? But what if we could make this month the month that you figure out how to really love your job and your career. This is what the series is gonna be. For the entire month of February, I'm gonna be sharing one thing that you can do to love your job and the career that you work in. This week, I'm gonna be answering the question, should you change careers? If you are not sure whether you're in the right career, the first thing I wanna discuss is a mistake to avoid, which is focusing on the negative aspects of your job, such as, I hate my job, and you're thinking, I don't want to go to work, I don't like my boss, I'm not sure I wanna do this anymore, I'm, I don't feel this is meaningful. Focusing on that thought can actually make it difficult for you to really get clear on what you want to do. A more helpful thought is, why do I hate this job? And also, how did I get to this job? So let's say for example, if you ended up in a career by accident, maybe you went to university, you studied something and you couldn't find a job and you ended up doing something because this is what you could only get hired to do, and you find yourself down that career track, then actually being present and aware of that makes you realize maybe I haven't consciously chosen the career that I want to be in. And when you get present to that and makes it clear on whether you should change careers or not. But if you're only focusing on, I don't like my tasks that I'm doing, I don't like my manager, I don't like this company, it can it can feel like you're working on the deep issues when really you're actually working on the surface level issues of why you're unhappy in the organization. The deep issues, the deep rooted issues are really where you'll get the insights on whether you are in the right or wrong career. The easiest analogy that I have for this is to think about relationships. So you know when you end up dating someone, so I'm married by the way, I don't know whether you're married, are you single? I'm curious. I'd actually love to know what the relationship status is of the people that watch my videos. Leave a comment comment in the box below. But you know when you're dating someone, and at least before you get married, sometimes you can ha make a habit of choosing the wrong men. I knew that I certainly did. There was a period of time when I would keep on dating guys that I thought were the right guys, but somehow I would quickly realized that they weren't the right guys for me. And it took a long time for me to realize why is it that I seem to be getting treated the same way? Why does it feel like I'm not getting respected by men? Why does it feel like some guys are cheating on me? Like why, why is this happening over and over again? And then I realized it wasn't because that particular man was just not the right partner, but it was because I hadn't consciously chosen the, the right type of man that I wanted. And I hadn't consciously chosen how I needed to be in order to attract the man that was right for me. Once I got present to that, I decided to not date anyone for a year. I decided to really get clear on who I am and what makes me happy, all that sorts of stuff. And the year later, that's when I went on a date and that date ended up being my husband. And my husband, he's amazing. He's the best man I've ever been with. And um, yeah, he's just, I just love him so much, but that would I would not have been able to attract that had I not stopped and thought, okay, what choices did I make that led me into these bad relationships and how can I make different choices in the future? So that's just an analogy. Once you're really ready to think about this in a deep and meaningful way, once you're ready to not focus on complaining, but really get clear on why you're unhappy, then you'll start to get the answers that you need. So the first question is, and why you're unhappy? So the first thing is, is it the company? Sometimes you're unhappy in a job, not because you're in the wrong career, but because you're simply working in a toxic organization. I do have a separate video 
on how to know whether you're working in the wrong company. The link is up here. It's basically on the signs that you're working in a toxic organization. The other thing to think about is, is it the job? Are you simply in the wrong job? And by wrong job, it could be that maybe you're ready for a promotion. Maybe instead of changing careers, you're ready to step it up and take new responsibilities and get, get a much more senior position. And if that's the case, then it doesn't necessarily make sense for you to change careers. It actually makes more sense for you to learn what, what new things can you do that will help you progress the next level and what responsibilities will you have in the next level that are more aligned with what you want to do with your career right now. Now there's one challenge is that if you realize that even if I was to get a promotion, I wouldn't want that job then that's a sign that perhaps you should change careers because if you can't go up and you don't want to stay where you are, the only way to move forward is for you to move out and to do something else. So get really clear on what it would take for you to get a senior position, whether you want the senior position. And if you don't want it, if you don't want to stay where you are, then perhaps think about trying and doing something else. And then the next thing, which I know people hate me bringing up, but is it you? Is it you? Are you behaving in a way that's attracting some of the challenges that you're experiencing or facing at work. Is it just this company that you've been unhappy at? Or have you found yourself in a situation where every single company you've worked for, you've been unhappy and you've been unfulfilled? If you realize that there is a pattern of you taking a job and being unhappy, taking a job and being unhappy, taking a job and being unhappy, I invite you to consider that perhaps it's not necessarily the company or the job that's the issue, but maybe there are some things that you are feeling or some choices that you are making that are stopping you from taking jobs that are the right fit for you, but are also making it difficult for you to enjoy the jobs that you have. For example, um, one of my clients, they hate hated their jobs and they would always start a new job with excitement for the future, excitement for what they were going to do, but within about six months to a year, they were bored. They were no longer interested in their job. And what we uncovered was that the reason why they were unhappy was because they didn't like having people tell them what to do. They had issues with authority and it stemmed from their childhood in terms of the relationship with their parents. And you might think this is totally unrelated, but it actually ended up meaning that they didn't trust their boss. They didn't trust their senior managers. And so what ended up happening was that it didn't matter where they, where they worked. They, want, they didn't trust their bosses or their senior managers. And if they don't trust their senior managers, then it creates tension in whatever job they do. And this ends up happening every single where they work. Now, I don't know whether there are things that you struggle with at work or maybe whether there's a pattern for you, but really getting clear on whether it's you or them can really help you figure out that actually it's not that I need to change careers. It's that maybe I need to work on my mindset. Maybe I need to work on my beliefs. Maybe I have limiting beliefs that are making it difficult for me to thrive in this job. Now, if you're wondering what limiting beliefs are, they're essentially beliefs that you have that limit you and your potential. So instead of having a limitless mindset, maybe you have a limited mindset where you say, I can't do this instead of I can, or you say managers don't have my best interest at heart. When in fact, you could say managers do have my best interest at heart. When you, you know, when you look at those two different statements, for example, someone who believes that managers don't have the best interests at heart, they behave differently at a company than someone who says, I believe that my manager has my best interests at heart. And then last but not least is, are you being called to do something that you're passionate about or you want to make an impact doing? If you find yourself feeling cold, as opposed to if you find yourself running away from, that is a sign that maybe you are ready to change careers. It's easier to change careers when you're running towards something as opposed to when you're running from something. When you're running from something, you're essentially trying to run from a problem that will probably catch up with you and catch up with you in another company or in another organization. And it's also not that motivating to run from something on a sustainable period. So for example, if you're running from a lion, like you would run from, for, from a lion as fast as you could, but after a few seconds, if not minutes, you'd probably tire and the lion would eat you. And that's kind of what it's like with your career. If you're running from problems, you might think you're running away from it, but over time you get tired of feeling this negative energy and feeling this, having these negative experiences that eventually you kind of want to give up and you, you don't have that motivation or excitement to to persevere when you when you are 
looking for a new career. However, if you find yourself running towards something like running towards someone you love, running towards something you love, and you just, this is your goal, this is your motivation, then when you're trying to change careers, you actually have the perseverance and you have the resilience to see it through till the end. And having the resilience and perseverance is essential if you ever decide to change careers. Anyways, that's it from this week's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to know whether you think you should change careers. Leave a comment in the box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you again next week. All right, bye. Ooh, and I forgot to mention that if you'd like to figure out what you wanna do next in your career, I actually have a full training to show you how to do this. It's called the Career Purpose Finder. And when you do this program, within literally just a few days, you can discover what you want to do next next in your career. To check out this program, simply click on the link in the description box below. It's got so many resources that you can do in such a short time and that will help you get the answers and clarity you need so that you, you can build a career doing something you love. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for new videos and click the bell button in order to get notified whenever I post new videos. There are so many more videos you can watch right now. So click on the video on the left or the right or the left or the right. I can't wait to see you next week.